I hear the choir singing, bro. Nice and clickety clickety. What's good, people? Welcome back to the channel. Always a pleasure to have you here to chill with me because, you know, I need friends. But today, we are going to do another unboxing video because you guys like the last one so much. Today should be, if I'm not mistaken, the Victrix. Pro FS. If it's not, then me and you are in for an epic surprise. Cause we are gonna open this box and no matter what it is, we are doing an unboxing video. Feels like an arcade stick. I hope it's an arcade stick cause I really want to use it today. Wouldn't it be funny? Wouldn't it be funny if I opened this and it's like toilet paper? Now I'd have to do an unboxing video about toilet paper. It is not toilet paper. It is indeed the Victrix Pro FS. Look at that. Look at that bad boy. Let's take off this sleeve. Oh, this sleeve is hard to take off, bro. It's just supposed to slide off, man. Try to do it. Ugh. But of course, we got that sleek Victrix box, man. Look at that. It just feels like it cost a lot of money. And it did for an arcade stick, but just because just because of the box, it is worth it, bro. It is worth it. this one, just like the Pro 12, the FS12, is also $3.99. It's gonna cost you a pretty penny. But if you could afford it, look at that beauty. Oh yeah. We got the purple cord thingy. Standard with all. Whoa. I only have two Vitrix arcade sticks, but. So far, it's been standard. What a beaut. And then we got, of course, the, the useless instruction booklet, and we have the joystick. I'm assuming it's a joystick. And as usual, we throw the instruction booklet away. I hear the choir singing, bro. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, bro. I also got this one in white, as you can see. I don't know, I'm just, I'm just not feeling the purple, man. And uh, just like the 12, they have the uh, the handles here. So you could, you know, oh, 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 work out with it if you want to. And then you got the, uh, the foam pad on the back for your lap. And let's check out the engine, bro. So open it up. You got all your stuff in here. So easily customizable. Shout out to Big Tricks. Um, and then at the top, you got your Allen wrench right here, and you have your joystick holder. Oh, is this the joystick? What's this? We'll find out later. <laughs> oh, and then you have your uh, Switch here if you want to play on uh, PS4, PS5, or PlayStation, because yes, it is PS5 compatible, unlike other arcade sticks. Hmm? But anyways, uh, let's put the stick in. First, let's open this to see what it really is. A joystick. I guess the one inside is a backup joystick. So I'm guessing this thing goes in here, right? Right? And then, okay, I'm stuck. So let's read the instructions. <laughs> one eternity later. This backup one. I don't know what this is, but whatever. So we're supposed to use this one. So I'm taking it out. All right, and you're supposed to like, um, pull this like this, right? Pull it up and then you push it in. Ooh, very nice. Nice and clickety clickety. Hey. Feels like an arcade stick, bro. <laughs> okay, and then, um, okay, so, yeah. So we got our, let's look at the front, as usual. We have our standard, uh, Link 2, attachable shaft with ball top, Sanwa base, just like in the arcade. You know, Sanwa's, Sanwa's the standard, bro. Boom, 
Sanwa is the standard, as I was saying. Standard. Sanwa is the standard, if I can talk. So we have the Sanwa buttons. Standard eight button arcade stick layout. Uh, as with, um, it's because it's you know PlayStation sponsored, all that stuff. Official PlayStation arcade stick. You have the square, triangle, R1, L1, L2, R2, circle, X. And then you have your touchpad right here. You have your PlayStation button right here. And then you have, um, you know, your your um, buttons up here, you know, to customize it. You can change the light, turn the volume down, mute the mic volume, all that good stuff. We'll get into that later. And then you have the USB-C right here. And then you have your 3.5 millimeter jack at the bottom for your headphones and whatnot. Very nice. Okay. Let's plug it in so we can see it light up. And I'll be honest with you, besides the box, my favorite thing about Victrix, besides the longer bottom here, where I can rest my wrists, my favorite thing about the stick is how it lights up on the side, but wait, I gotta plug it in first so we can see that. But I really hate these things, where you gotta turn it to open. Oh my gosh. I feel like, the planet as one should just dispose of these things. And just like that, let there be light, bro. Look. Woo -hoo. Look at the sides. Woo -hoo. Like a Mercedes, bro. Very nice. And just like the last one, uh, or just like the um, previous stick that we reviewed, this button right here, is to change the lighting color. You hold this button right here, and then you can press this left and right to change the color, and you could also change the level of it. And then you have the uh, this button here, which is the audio. I don't know if you can see it lit up or not, but this is the audio button. Um, press and hold it, you know, move the joystick up and down to adjust the volume. You can double tap the audio to mute it, and then double tap it again to unmute it. And then you have your tournament lock mode, which, you know, kind of saves you or saves you the worry of pressing like the pause button and then having to take an L for that round or whatnot. And then you have your menu button and the pro button. Oh man, I feel like I'm a pro already. <laughs> Ooh, but I'm gonna try it out and I'm gonna let y'all know um, how I feel about it. Cause I'm recently, I've recently been debating on if I should switch from a leverless to an actual lever, you know, the joystick. But um, I'll let y'all know how it goes. I'll also do some comparisons between leverless and with the lever. Uh, so subscribe to the channel, like, comment, let me know what you think, or if you have one, let me know what you think. Uh, let me know if you're thinking about getting one. Um, hit me up with any questions, but you know what time it is. It's time to take the plastic off, baby. Ooh. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for checking out the video. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. See y'all in the next one. Peace.